cual Tienen moña, tienen feria Y mentira que al final Ellos tan, 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 tan a otro nivel Guys, this is me, Marin from Team Death Note <coughs> As promised, we are going to be announcing the winners To the 300 subscriber giveaway So, let's start out with the actual deck box so uh the winner of the deck box is antonio carpentary congratulations on that man you have won yourself a nice little deck box um what we just need for you to, to do is just comment on this video with with your information so we can be able to um get this out to you so our second winner for the Dragon Shield Sleeves is going to be Tom Sack. Congratulations, Tom Sack, on your fresh 100 Dragon Shield Sleeves. Oh, look at that. They're red, so there you go. And for the winner of the playset of the Bardox is going to be Vinsois. Kaori or Kiri, I think it is. So, congrats, man, on that. Remember, send us a comment, comment on this video so we can be able to get these out to you. And for the winner of the Ability Unleash Ultimate Gohan BCC playset is going to be Zach Zach Lip. You have won the four playset. I mean, the play sale of the Go B B BCC Gohans. So you already know. We just need for you guys to um, comment or try to PM us um, through Facebook. Uh, you can find me on the actual Facebook page. Or you can comment on the actual uh, link that we're going to share this on the, on the main Dragon Ball Super page. And there you can just comment and we can just personal, personal PM us with your information okay so um again congrats on everybody on that and thank you so much for your support and we will be just giving more content as we go but right now we're just going to open up our heroes and villains that we got today we got several of them we're just going to open up one of each so you guys can see what actually comes in that so let's go here so you yeah, guys can see it's pretty neat i think it's pretty it's actually pretty big and i actually like this little thing right here like with the gold tan and trunks we got my boy vegeta goku over here and gold tents it looks pretty nice it actually shows the cards that come the little deck box look how it comes for for you guys that still haven't seen it it's pretty cool. So let me just start to open these things up real quick. Okay. Give me a second, guys. This thing got a lot of tape on it. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the with the heroes. Looks pretty cool. Let's take your time so you guys won't actually damage. Okay. The first one, which is the gold tents. One foil, one non foil, which is pretty cool. You can just actually just grab two of each. You don't have to really go crazy. Or, you know, if you're balling like that, you need to buy four of each. You know, keep the hollow, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, we got the, the, the gold tents. His effect. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know, but I'm just still going to read through the card. Um, Union Fusion. 
tap um you can just tap four. The specific will be two green, two or whatever. It will be a Sun Goten and a Trunks Youth. And you can just place this card on top of the two specified um cards. Um let me see. No, you just pitch two from the hand and just fusion. So, um, it has double strike, auto. When you play this card, if you have Sun Glow Tent and your drop area, draw two cards. If you have Trunks Youth and your drop area, choose one opponent battle card and KO that card. That's pretty that's pretty sick. Basically, if you have two of them on the on the drop area. You can just draw two and KO somebody, which is pretty nice. So let's go to the next one. You guys gotta be very careful opening it because they, they have this tape down really, really weird. Okay, we're going with the trunks. Same thing, you know, one foil, one non foil. Uh, he has critical. When you play this card, look at the top seven. Um, look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one blue Vegito. Among them with energy cost A or less and add it to your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Pretty great card, especially with the Vegito leader. Okay, so we're going to start over here, <clears throat> start to get them out, you got that, you got that, okay, so we have the Unified Spirit Trunks, Unified Spirit Sun Go Tent, so Sun Go Tent, Active Main, return this card to, the, to its owner's hand, Auto. When this card attacks, look at the top seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Trunks Youth among them with 15, with 15 or less power and add it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Pretty sure this says the same thing. Oh no. Um, active may return this card to its owner's hand. Auto. When this card attacks, you may reveal one Sun Go Tent from your hand. If you do so, choose up to one opponent battle card. With energy cost three or less and KO that card. Great, great cards, guys. Great cards. I already see this meta changing a lot. So we have the Vegito. Uh Union uh Patara. Uh you tap five. Two are specified, which is two blue, three anything. You get a Sun Goku and a Vegeta. Um Place the card in active mode on the top of it. So if you have um, both of them on the field, you can just uh, pay the cost and put it on top and put it on, 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 on active mode, which is pretty cool, you know. And it has dual attack and it has critical and it has an auto. When this card attacks twice in the same turn, it gains double strike for the duration of the turn. Wow, guys, this is a pretty, pretty amazing card. You can actually swing. For 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 um, 30k critical, he stands back up, swing for 30k again, critical and double strike. So you know your opponent will actually see three of their life going into the drop area if they take both hits. Pretty amazing card. Now we have the two top dogs of the deck. We got Vegeta, my boy. 
So we got my boy Goku over here. So, Goku, auto. When you play this card, look at, look at, look at up to seven cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one blue Vegeta among them with energy cost three or less and play it in rest mode. Then, place the remaining cards in the bottom of your deck in any order. Pretty cool. And the Vegeta, permanent. If all of your energy, if all of your energy is blue, reduce the energy cost of this card in your hand by, in your hand and battle area by one. Pretty cool card. So actually, if you're just mono blue, you play this card, or you could just be whatever. But if, you, if the energy you have down, let's say you have two blue, um, and you have this card in hand, you can just play them for 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 as a as a two drop instead of a three drop. Which is pretty cool, guys. Um, now I'm gonna go over to the villains. It's been open already, but I'm gonna show you the deck box. Look how cool. Let me show you the the the, the hero first. Look how the hero looks. It's amazing. My boy Vegeta. Look at him. He ain't playing no games. We got trunks. That's. It seems like that's like the 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 art from Mofuba. That's what it looks like. We have Goku. We have the front again with Vegito. We have the actual Dragon Ball uh, Super card game logo on there. What's on the bottom? The logo again. So you guys can see this, how it opens. It has this little, like, sticky thing. I don't know what's the actual name to that, but that's pretty cool. Look how it looks. And it has an actual divider. So if you want to divide extra cards or, like, your side deck, you know, which is pretty cool. It actually has Goku and Vegeta on it. That seems pretty nice, guys. I don't know, to me it's worth it. It all depends on your local. Price varies, so it's actually worth it. Let me show you the, the deck box to the actual villains. You got this guy. I don't know his name, but I'm bad with, with names anyway with the cards. I just know what they do. Uh, we got this other guy here. We got this amazing chick. I don't know if you guys remember, but she will be like a... Uh, if you guys play Yu-Gi-Oh, she would be like a change of heart type thing. She's pretty cool. But in this case, we ain't changing now. We just taking. <laughs> we got Trunks over here. Uh, you know, he's doing his thing. So, same thing, I guess. Oh, we got Bardock right here. That's pretty cool. Open the bottom and the top with the logo. So we go. And this is how this thing looks here. Pretty cool. Looks pretty nice. I actually like the, the little pink color to it. Look, looks kind of awesome. But yeah, guys, you know, when you guys have a chance, please get your hands on this. It's pretty great. So now let me come to the cards right now. So let's go to one of the ma main key factors over here. So we got two copies. One foil, one non-foil, as always. Uh, over round four. If you have at least four cards in your drop area... You can play this card by sending all cards in your drop area to your warp area. At the end of the turn, send this card from your battle area to your warp area. Overrealm can be activated once per turn. And the good thing about him is that when you play this card using Overrealm, it gains critical for the duration of the turn. So imagine, guys, this guy can, like, actually hit the field, basically, for free. He's pretty crazy. He's amazing. I see a lot of play with this card right here. Very, very great card. Now, oh, yeah, I didn't even read you guys his name. His name is Myra or Mira, however you want to pronounce it, from the darkness. I will say Myra from the darkness. Now. We go to this little waifu type card right here. If you're into that kind of stuff, you know. Um, give me a sec here. So, her name is Time Ruler Toa. Round four. You know, blah, blah, blah. The same thing. If you have four cards in your drop area, you know, you can send it. Okay. You can only do overrun once per turn. It can only be activated once per turn. Okay. 
Auto. When you play this card using Overrealm, choose up to one opponent battle card with energy cost two or less and gain control of it. Move the chosen card to your battle area in the same mode. Pretty, pretty amazing card. You know, it's pretty cool. Now, let's go to the Chibi Quiz right now. Okay. Let's go with my boy Trunks. My man Trunks. Okay. Time Patrol Trunks. Overrealm 3. So, the same baggage. Instead of four cards, it's three cards this time. Remember, once per turn, Overrealm could be activated. Auto. When you play this card using Overrealm, Look at to look up to two cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one of them and add it to your hand. Then place the remaining cards on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. So remember guys, it says look at up to two cards. So you can have them like choose because if you don't want to look at nothing, you just won't look at nothing. But you know, it's an advantage, especially if you want to get one of those 10k draws or if you need a negate or whatever type of card that you actually need, you know. Why not use the skills? A free draw. Like why not? Um We got this little Her name is Supreme Kai of Time Continuity Keeper. Auto. When you play this card, choose up to one black battle card. With energy cost five or less from your deck, and send it to your to your warp and shuffle your deck. Then at the beginning of the next turn, if this card is in play in your battle area, add the card that was sent to the warp by this skill to your hand. Oh my God, this card is so so great because you can actually search. For the card that you need in the deck, put it to the warp area. Just try to protect her. Just play her. Keep her there. Next turn, if she's still there, you get the card to your hand. And you get to do some shenanigans with that. Oh, yeah. This card right here is so And also, nasty. there might be a card that your opponent will target with the Goten. With the size 3 Goten, the um, green one, when you combo that you KO with size 3 or less. So you will make your opponent waste a a a um a um size three Goten just to get rid of that card because he doesn't want for you to get like the Bardox and the Mera and the Trunks to add it to your hand. Great card, guys! Great card, guys! So we come into one of the most busted card from this little expansion pack, which is Mask Saiyan, the Mysterious Warrior. Which we know, you know, which we all know that's really like Barter. That was Barter, you feel me? So he got the Realm 5. Um, Over Realm. Over Realm 5, I'm sorry, guys. So you already guys already know about that. He has Double Strike. Auto. When you play this card using Over Realm, choose any number of, uh, choose any number of opponent battle cards without blocker for which the total cost adds up to 5 or less. And send them to the warp area. Send it. Send them to their warp. This card is crazy. It's pretty cool because if you know they playing these cards, you're not gonna give them time to actually build an actual drop area. You're gonna send it right straight to to their warp. So there, it makes them harder to do their warp on you. Amazing card. Loving it already. Loving it already. So we have this other little card, Majin Twin Shun Shun. She's a blocker and she has auto. When you play this card, if your leader card is green or yellow, place up to two cards from the top of your deck and the drop area. Wow, this card is amazing. This card is going to be great for yellow. And especially for like those cell players that don't actually play the cell engine, but they play like like a tricolor type deck or, or red blue type deck or red green, however they want to play it. This card is amazing for that. Great card. And last but not least, 
We have Majin Twin Haru Haru. Auto. When you play this card, if your leader card is red or blue, place two cards from the top of your deck and the drop area. When this card attacks, this card gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. Hey, you know, red and blue, they're more like aggro types, so they just had to give them that little extra 5K. And they actually a 10K base, unlike the other one. But they're both great cards, you know. Um... But yeah, guys, this is the actual um, expansion pack, heroes and villain opening, and the actual um, information that we gave out for the winners to the giveaway. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like this video. We will always we will be always throwing out content for you guys. If you guys want any information of what type of content you guys want to see. You can actually um, comment to us, and as soon as we have the chance, we can be able to provide that to you. We just want to be here for you guys. You guys are the one that's making us um, want to do these videos every, every time. We like to have these videos out there so you guys can see, especially for the people that can barely play or don't have time on their hands to play, but they can actually see um, videos that we post up, especially matches. Um, you know, it gives you an idea, and it also makes people want to, like, join the game. This is a great community, guys. Dragon Ball Super is a great community. Bandai has, has done a very great job with, with this card game. And it's a fun game, guys, you know. I understand some people, um, they have, um, hard time to get their hands on promos. But promos are not really very, um, it's not all the time everything. You know, there's some promo cards that are kind of good, but... What actually counts is the strategy you put in into your deck and the skill that you bring on board, guys. Also, I want to tell you guys, too, when you, whenever you have a chance, please go to an ARG um, event. You guys are going to have so much fun. You're going to meet so much great people. People are so friendly. They're willing to help. They're willing to... You, you can actually... Um, get a great challenge. Me, I'm a person. I love. I love a challenge. I just. I just love. It. You know, that's that's my thing. I, I'm. I'm a very aggressive person when it comes to the game playing. But I'm a very fun person. I like to make jokes. You know, and all that, and all that. But yeah. Um. Thank you guys for your support. As always, I hope that you guys can um always keep watching our content. And if you guys have any friends, bring them on board, man. You know, let 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 them let them see and feel that the type of content that we actually creating and the type of game that Dragon Ball Super is about. You know, it's an actual it's an anime. It's like when you're playing these cards, it's like you're watching the anime, and you, it's like a feel that you're actually in tune. Like if you're that character, you know. I don't know if you guys um, actually understand what I'm trying to say, but you know, it, you can kind of relate. You know, it's 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 a great game, guys. And don't never go for what people say to them about, oh, this card is bad, that card is bad. That's a lie. All the cards are great. You just got to know how to play with the card. So, yeah, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, This is Marin from Team Death Note. Hope you guys enjoyed everything. And we would love to hear your feedback always. So, keep it up, guys. Que lo que es fortuna, 